because the company studies everything it does. We try to bring as much analytics and data and science to what we do on the people side as our engineers do on the product side. Laszlo Bach heads Google's People Operations Department. That's HR to you and me. Google's talent for data mining gives him detailed information on what pays off. When an employee starts on the first day, we have data that says, if the manager shows up and says, hi, nice to meet you, you're on my team, we're going to be working together, and does a few other things, those people end up 15% more productive in nine months. Google will be an unconventional company. To make sure the rest of a Googler's career remains productive is David Radcliffe's responsibility. We thought it would be a great idea to build a, a building that allowed us to really try out new things and, uh, and find out what works and what doesn't work. He's in charge of creating the perfect environment. We call it our living laboratory. Inside the living lab, Radcliffe's team tests everything from floor to ceiling. Diner booths, it turns out, can work better than traditional conference rooms. I always say casual collisions are what we try and create within the work environment. Um, you know, you can't schedule innovation, you can't schedule uh, idea generation. And so when we think about our facilities around the world, we're really looking for little opportunities for engineers or for creative people to come together. The rooms Google has created for those creative people include ski gondolas in the Zurich office, a pub-like meeting room in Dublin, and a sidewalk cafe in Istanbul. So this is a, a conference room in it's here. A, it's, yeah. a, it's a conference room that was made overnight. Uh, it's The idea behind this is the employees should own their individual space and be as creative as possible and we should give them away. When all that innovation gets too much, there's a solution for that, too. Should we whisper out here? I think so. No workplace is complete without a nap pod. We found that the 5-minute to 15-minute power nap, it works on Sunday before you watch the football game. Why not here at work? The lab searches for building materials that are free of chemicals, like soy foam furniture. Even the impact of paint colors is analyzed. And we actually get a, a negative response out of this color, so you probably won't see it popping up in other uh, other parts of the People building. don't like purple for some reason. I guess not. I don't know what it is. I actually like the color myself, but it doesn't work in the work environment. While unhappy workers at other companies may sometimes feel they're toiling on a treadmill, Google offers treadmill desks as an option. Research has shown that walking while you work can be good for your health. The company maintains a thousand bikes on campus and gives workers their own garden space to grow vegetables. Google famously provides free food, three meals a day, plus unlimited snacks. The company's data mining revealed that was making Googlers gain weight. A change was needed. We started experimenting with what we call nudges, which are small interventions we can make that don't force people down a path, but make it easier to make better decisions. Nudges promoting smaller plates increase their use by half. Food choices are now color-coded, green, yellow, and red, red being the least healthy. Salads and greens moved to the front of the line, and sugary snacks became a bit harder to find. We took the sweets, uh, M&Ms, for example, and we moved them a little further down the shelf. And what we found was over a seven-week period, we actually had people consume over three million fewer calories of M&Ms. Ultimately, the goal behind all this number crunching is to extend the life of the average Googler by an astonishing 30 years. You want them to live longer? We do, actually. We do, actually. Um, it's funny. I think our oldest Googler is 83 years old, and we want people at Google for a lifetime. Yeah. And the search giant will keep searching for ways to do that. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, Mountain View, California.